I am involved in the Tucson Weight Loss Support Group here. And then the other thing that I do is I go and I do hospital visits. So I keep in contact with the doctor's office. They let me know when someone is having gastric bypass or lap or whichever one of the sleeve. If they're having a bariatric surgery, they let us know who is having it. And then we will make what is called an angel visit. But the patients have to request an angel visit. So, and that is very much encouragement. We go in, we make sure that they are at that point eating what they're supposed to be eating or drinking is is what it really is at the time getting water down getting the food the broth the the uh, uh, jello that kind of thing down we make sure that you're doing your breathing treatments those are so important if you do the breathing in that little tube that they give everybody when you go to the hospital if you do those and continue to do those for 10 days after you get out of the hospital, you will be amazed at how much better you feel. Because I have learned that, and I was one of them that did the breathing exercises, and I did a lot better than some of them that just took the machine, took the little thing home and didn't do any exercises with it. So I really encourage people to do that. And then one of the other things that we do is we get up and we make them walk and walk. They need to walk every two hours and if they can only walk 20 feet and have to go back and sit down, fine. Do 20 feet. The next time, two hours, go 30 feet. Just keep extending yourself safely. Don't overextend, but push yourself a little bit more each time. And that will give you, uh, that will help you with not getting the blood clots. It helps you with getting your energy back and moving around. It helps the fluids that have been pumped into you through surgery, getting those uh, through you. The support group, when you're gonna go through hard times, you're gonna have foods that you're not gonna, you love before and you don't anymore. You have foods that quite literally make you ill. And you have these other people, they, they see you and guess what? You're in the same boat as they are. They're going through the struggles that you're going through. And they're going through the oh wows that you're going to go through too. And so you, you have someone that is there to give you a hug. You know, there's a lot of us people when we're heavy, for some reason people just don't hug us. And it's just, they go, they'll go to a skinnier person or something. And you know what? We're huggable. We love to be hugged. And we go to the support group meetings and we get all kinds of hugs and support from each other. I didn't wait until after my su oh. surgery. I started coming. I saw Dr. Burpee in uh, September and he encouraged me to start coming right away. And so October, I was there. But I didn't have my surgery until May. But I went every month. I went to the activities they had. I went to, because they have potlucks every month where they're exchanging clothes, you know, big ones for small ones usually. But you know what, fortunately, we have people like me that I started going to the support group in the potluck and these be people are thrilled to get rid of those big clothes and I was right there to take them. And so I was really happy. I would walk away each month with a new supply of clothes I think it would be very good whether they're going to have the surgery or not. If they have a weight issue and they need to lose weight, go ahead and go to the support group. Go ahead and go to Obesity Health. Learn from them. With the uh, Obesity, or with um, the Tucson Weight Loss Support Group, we have a program that fall, goes on the heels of the actual monthly meeting, and that is teaching you about the nutrition and about not, we have speakers every month, they teach you about how to handle problems because we have more than just physical problems, we have mental problems. I would encourage people uh, at any stage to start getting involved in a weight loss support group like this and being involved, not just being a participant, but being active as far as 
taking attendance, uh, making the baskets, doing, being active in the group. And one of the things that uh, we have learned uh, is that people that do that seem to keep their weight off better and longer. And I, I'm out more than two and a half years and I still go on a regular basis.